waits for the line, but Brass Hat answers right back. And Brass Hat. What's going on YouTube? Horse Racing Gamer. We're back. We're starting off the year fresh here in Gallup Racer 2000. Appreciate the support on the videos. And we're going to get right into it. We got three horses. Remember, Crazy Friend, who is our four year old Colt now. Then we got two four year old Phillies in Patty's Rum and Awful Tap. Crazy Friend is in the purple. I have no idea what the purple is. I cannot remember for the life of me what purple means in this game. I don't think that's good. Does that mean he's sick? I really don't. I'm, I'm used to blue, green, yellow, and red, but purple. This is the first time I've ever seen purple, or I've ever paid attention to it. Nonetheless, crazy friend, 8 to 11 furlongs here. He likes to go on the turf for the most part. We could run him on dirt, and I think we tried, but he didn't do too well. So 8 to 11 on the turf. It's an open race here at sunset. Might as well just got to start us off here. Um, Patty's Rum. She has gotten a win. Awful Tap needs a win. She's the only one with that one. Patty's Rum, though, she could go turf or dirt, 6 to 10 furlongs. Uh, so we'll figure, I mean, we'll 6 to 10, see whatever is good. I don't know if she's a great three horse yet, but let's take her to Garnett. That's three furlongs. I mean, that's six furlongs on the dirt. I think that's a pretty easy going for her. Then Awful Tap. Awful Tap is 9 to 12 and preferably on the turf, but. Uh, still could probably do dirt if we needed to so 9 to 12 on the turf grade 3 might be a little I don't think she can run with grade 3 yet um, And I don't want to wait too long to get her in a race, but you know what? We can either do a grade 3 which is in her Distance range, but she may be a little outclassed or we would go ahead and do a 8 furlong race Which is a little underneath her distance her distance preference, but it's an open uh, I don't know I think, I mean, the extra furlong, will it hurt her if we're going shorter? I don't think it will. I don't think she's capable of running even in grade threes yet. So I'll take the chance of running the eight furlongs. So we have three races this week, and it's in order. Isn't that convenient? So let's go to race day. I probably want to get another colt this year so I can have more to work with. I'll have four horses. Crazy friend. Coming in at 10 to 9, not bad. The old city, or the 12, 11 horses, excuse me, old city is the favorite today. We have a chance here. We have a chance to place. We run this race how we should. Old city does like to be in the back of the pack. He likes to be a trailer, stalker, whatever you want to call him. So, hopefully we can run the race like that and do what we need to do. I need to move that. And here we go. This color, the game in this color. I mean, the color in this game is so much better when it comes to saturation, man. I swear. Everything looks. And we just bumped a horse. I did not mean to do that. That could end up costing us our first race back here. He's in the green right now. There's a, there's a pretty big distance here between the uh, majority of the field and us. I mean, we're sitting here 10, 11, 12 in the back of the pack, and the rest of the nine are kind of up there doing their thing. Not sure bumping that horse is going to hurt us. Um... We got stamina to roll, so I'm going to get rolling right now. See what we got. Let's see what old friend, I mean, crazy friend has got. We're closing. We are closing. Look at this spurt. My goodness. <laughs> Look at this spurt from crazy friend. We are closing in, and it looks like we're just going to get fourth. That's a good place. Man, we would have got started sooner. Could we have had a better finish? Maybe, but... That's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Almost got third. That was a crazy spurt. Almost think maybe we could have. I, I think I, I brought. I know he likes to be a, a trailer, but I probably slowed him down a little too much. I probably could have kept him just behind the the horse in ninth position, and then as soon as we came onto the stretch, we would have definitely closed that gap and came in first as long as we had the stamina to do so. But fourth place, not bad, not bad at all. We're working on it. You guys know how it is. If you're playing this game and you're automatically winning as soon as you pop it in, that that's not fun, man. That's just not fun to me at all. I like the grind. I like the progression. I like being able to uh, really work from the bottom up, literally. So coming in, you know, last place or the last couple of spots, and then eventually being able to be a mid pack, you know, horse finisher, then being able to place, and then winning on a consistent basis. That is all. Uh, so rewarding to me. That's why I'm loving Gallup Racer 2004 now. You guys have seen how we've progressed. We are the biggest long shot. Oh, no, okay. Well, Dandy Hunter is like 887. <laughs> have odds ever gotten that high in horse racing? Like, honestly. We are the second long shot here with Patty's Rum. 
Um, this is a great three race in Miami. Still may be outside of her class. So as far as the, the range and the uh, the preference, that's all good. But six furlongs on the dirt, it's a great three. Still may not be her exact type of race to do. Here we go. Good start. Patty's rum also likes to trail. So we're going to just kind of have her right here. I'm going to tuck into the inside. I think this is good. I feel like she's exerting a little bit of energy by I mean this is a quick race fast pace so mid pace here let's see what she does we got room and we are the long shot so as long as we pass a couple of horses we're good here and Patty's run making a decent run Decent run, closing in on the field. Wow, we almost placed. Not bad, not bad. I feel like I'm getting started a little late on my spurts. A little late here. But considering we were supposed to come, what, second to last, we ended up coming fifth. Yeah, we placed. We definitely placed. That is a great effort from Patty's Rum. I'm thinking the only horse that can run with grade three is Crazy Friend or Colt. I don't think our Phillies are still capable of doing that. But we placed. We were supposed to come second to last. Six furlongs on the dirt there. That's a good showing. So we've got two places to start off uh, this week's episode. That's some good stuff, man. That's some good, 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 good stuff. Bada bing, bada boom. Place, it, it helps, man. I'm big on that. I'm big. Especially if you're not going to win. Placing is awesome, man. Get your horse confidence. Also helps them. Helps your jockey overall, your jockey evaluation, and all that awful tap. Okay, she's got decent odds. Now, this isn't a, her preferred distance. She only likes to go 9 to 12, but we're running her 8 furlongs, and it's an open race. Like I said, I don't think I have anybody that's a grade 3 except for our Colt. The Phillies, I don't think, are there. The favorite is Hot Serious, number 5. But awful tap, we're coming in here at 11 to 2. Uh, we, we could surprise the field. Gate position one. Hopefully we get a really good start. We kind of settle in on the inside rail. Don't have to do too much maneuverability. Hopefully we don't get boxed in. We could have a really good uh, finish here in this race in Miami. So let's see what we can do. Racing. You guys uh, know which announcer from which track that is. One of my favorites, man. He always gets me hyped to watch races. Santa Anita. Uh, we like to be a front runner. We were good, and now the field just kind of passed us. Ah, dang it, and we just bumped that horse next to us. Ah. In this game, as simple as it is, I mean, it's much easier to make mistakes like that because the, 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 the controls are not dynamic enough, you know, to make a real difference. As in Galbraith 2004, you know, you have to slowly kind of, you know, do those increments. But here, one slight bump in the controller, and you're, like, screwed, you know. Okay, I don't know what we're going to do here with uh, Patty's uh, awful tap or whatever. I'm going to move because I feel like we were going to get blocked right there. Not bad. Not bad. We got room. We got room. This is awful tap. Awful tap shooting up through the inside. We're going to get our first win. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. That was not a well-ran race. I and mean, we bumped. We were tucked inside. Awful tap found a way through. Just as I'm talking about maneuverability. Holy crap. I mean, I knew we could finish well. I said that before the race started. I'm like, if we run how we're supposed to, we get a good start and we're tucked in, which we did still maintain inside position until the stretch. And I was thinking of staying there, but I'm like, nah, I got to move, especially since it was only four or five horses kind of spread out um, on the main stretch within the last two furlongs. Wow. we I cannot believe we won that race. Holy crap. We won that race. I got to watch that replay back. Hopefully... Uh, it's not too slow or anything. I cannot believe we won that race. Guys, I am like mind blown. That was the race. I mean, we could have. We could have. We was. We should have definitely placed. And we had a good start. And then the field just kind of really blew past us. And I was a little worried, but I didn't panic. Of course, I did hit that horse uh, in the green and pink right next to us. Um, the number three horse. This horse right on the right of me. I hit that horse. I don't know if I hit them yet. It may have already happened off screen, but I hit that horse and I kind of was thinking, dang, you know, we're screwed now. But awful tab. What an awesome showing, man. What? I mean, come on. Look at where we are, guys. This is where we are in the field at four furlong, the four furlong marker. And somehow we make a rally to find our. We literally were weaving in and out of horses to find ourselves at the finish line first. Look. 
you know we're super inside here then I'm like you know what this isn't gonna work so then I start moving she responds you know beautifully look at that we're still four or five horses deep back and then we somehow found a gap we found a gap right there slide right through and man the win that's crazy that is one of my best races I've ran in here easily that, that has to be the best actually the one the first race I won with crazy friend and then even the other one with uh, Patty's rum they were okay wins for our first time but that was man that that is legitimate when it comes to horse racing moving in and out of traffic just cutting it man was not expecting to win i knew we could place up there because of our positioning and you know everything else but holy wow that that's an awesome win awesome win awesome win for awful tap uh so awful tap gets her first win here for us patty's roman's got one and crazy friend all of our horses have a win uh i'm gonna look to see if i can buy another colt at least have two and two might as well right now, as far as a cult to buy, uh, free answer. Only 2,200, but he's almost an 80 rating on the turf, 73 on the dirt. Not bad, which means if I had to kind of put him in a dirt race, I could. This is all we got. Free answer. I'm liking it. Let's see what his distance are. Five to eight furlongs. Uh, speed is crazy. Stamina is not that good, but he, I mean, he's a sprinter. Uh, we could use a sprinter horse. I don't think we really have one. So we'll get free answer. Welcome to the stables here. We got four horses, two colts, and two fillies. And free answer is a three-year-old colt. We're going to get him in a race here. Five to eight furlongs on the turf. Let's see what he will do. And boom. This open contest in junior is our perfect uh, perfect test for him. Restriction to three-year-olds only. Weight 121. First place prize for purse at least is 1900. So... This should be a good starter. Let's run it and see how he does. Man, that was one of my most exciting races, honestly. That I've, I've won. Even comparable to Gallup Racers 2004. Now, this is good. Open contest. He's not the favorite, but, I mean, we could easily win this race if we run it right. Anybody in this field can really win the race, besides Absurd Saint. But, heck, we were the long shots. Well, we weren't a long shot. We were uh, supposed to finish second to last, I think, with all, uh, Patty's Rum. Uh, my gray horse and uh, we still ended up finishing fifth instead of second to last so this race is winnable if we do what we need to do this race is definitely winnable and here we go good start he is a front runner so I'm gonna kind of get him up here and I think he's got good pacing right now we're okay this is good this is good right here I'm gonna move inside now this is perfect I don't know if this horse is gonna overtake but I think he's comfortable where he's at He's comfortable where he's at. I don't know if those horses are going to overtake or what. Uh, we're pacing right now. This is good. This is really good for us right here. I don't think we're going to have to do much on the stretch. Fast pace. Uh, we got plenty of room to make our move. We don't have to worry about any opposition. So here we go. Here we go. Now let's crank it. Let's see what he does. Free answer. Got a long way to go, but we're closing the gap. We are closing the gap. Free answer. Huge spurt. <laughs> Huge spurt. We still got competition on the outside. And I don't know if we got it. It may have just been a photo. I mean, it definitely was a photo. Definitely was a photo. I don't know if we, yeah, I think that nine horse may have gotten us. Or did we get it? Nope. Nine horse just got us. Wow. That's that's a great effort. I told you anybody in this field could have won that race, man. We were all pretty much even. Except for two horses, and even still, in a field like this, I, it's still anybody's game. So, second place for our first race here with uh, free answer. Not disappointed whatsoever, and we only lost a buy ahead, literally. So, that's a good effort. That is a good effort. So, this is good. We've placed in every race. Think about it. We've placed literally in every race we've started this uh, in this episode. Four races, we placed four out of four. That's awesome. Points, evaluation, purse, rank, all that good stuff. All right. Now, everybody should be pretty well rested. Awful tap, free answer. Those are going to have a little bit to go. Patty's rum may get her a race in a little bit, but crazy friend. Let's go ahead and um, roll with him. When is his spurt? Okay, he's on the decline a little bit, so we should be able to retire him after this season, after this year, um, which we probably will do anyway. So 8 to 11 furlongs um, on the turf. 
a grade one and it's on the dirt his dirt rating isn't terrible it's a 70 but I mean I don't think anybody else is gonna be better on the dirt for him uh, like I said I think he's the best horse at this class so our first or one of our first grade ones um, or second I don't know which one it is whatever we're entering in a grade one for crazy friend Patty's rum uh, we still need to get her another win and her spurt is not gonna happen until midway through this year maybe by the time she's five years old so six to ten furlongs could be dirt or turf we'll get her in this great th oh actually no we're gonna go to this open condition there's no sense in putting them in a race above their class just to prove a point that's just stupid like let them run with the competition they need to run with and once they're clearly beating that you know beating the competition at a, a really easy level then you move them up now every now and then if you want to test to see where they're at of course that's okay which is what I do but I know where my horse like to run crazy friend we're the super duper long shot here and it's a, probably because this race is on dirt so if we win this guys that is crazy it's a field of 12 so if we at least come in fifth we're placing the seven is crazy friend the eight is rude attack beauty prize I would do this for the whole field but my goodness you see how slow this is going in 2004 is just a quick simple swipe so you get the dealio it's our first grade one of the year hopefully we place if we win that would just be absolutely redonkulous because I know crazy friend is not king on being on the dirt so that's why we're a super long shot here today but you never know Ooh, slow down. Not too much. Okay, and uh, slow down. All right, good. Good pacing. I feel like we're still uh, we're exerting a lot of energy. But then again, we're in a grade one field of horses here who are probably miles ahead. I mean, their ratings are probably in the 90s at least. Definitely in the 90s for sure. And most of those are probably even above that. Like, you know, uh, 102s and even some 104s. So, we're definitely a, a way out class, but it doesn't matter. We're going to give it a shot here. See what can happen here with Crazy Friend. I'm going to make a really late run on the outside, or a really wide run on the outside, I should say. We're not really catching anybody. Not now. Some horses are tiring, though. Some horses are tiring. We got a ways to go, but we didn't come dead last like we were supposed to, so hey. <laughs> it's better than nothing. But yeah, definitely not a great horse yet at all. Now, this was on the turf. I think our odds would have been better. I do. So it's not the last great one he's going to be entered in, but the last one on dirt, probably. Tested him out just to see how he would do. Clearly, he's still much, much better on the turf. That is his preference, so we're going to stick him to that. But we didn't come in dead last, so hey. There's a big suck it to the bookmarkers for that one. So let's keep it rolling. Got another race. And uh, yeah, let's keep it rolling, man. Patty's Rum, five to eight, finally. We got some good odds with her today. And that means that puts us at about the third or fourth favorite, fourth favorite in this race. So we definitely have a chance to win it with her. No doubt. Good start. I think she's also she also likes to be a trailer gate position is kind of midway so getting a good start is probably crucial or we just hang back now i think about it um yeah i'm not oh crap i keep forgetting you still have to get out of the gates i'm just thinking it's like gallop racer 2004 like you don't have to do that necessarily and you'll be okay oh man that's terrible that definitely messed us up i still got to get myself out of the gate i'm just like oh yeah i can just not press up on the d-pad to get out of the gate and we'll be fine nope you that happens you just you get stuck literally but the plus side to this we'll have inside position so if we need to make a late rally we can which we're gonna get going right now i don't know if we're gonna get gassed or what but we'll see we're gonna have room if we can catch them but man i messed that up i messed that up big time so if we don't finish well that's all on me it's all on me regardless, unless we win it on some crazy miracle crap. But look at this run. Look at this run. Ah, man, we, we could have won that race easily. No way. You see that closing speed? That closing speed is huge. I totally screwed that up. So that is all on me. I got to run another race with her as soon as she's ready to go. 
Gotta get some redemption. I would be mad. I would be mad. At me. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I just spaced out on that one, but it's all good. At least we know. Um, what was that? Seven furlongs on the. I can't remember, but. Yeah, I think it was seven furlongs on the dirt, so. We'll be okay. Who's ready to go? Awful Tap is ready to go. Remember the awesome win she had. So 9 to 12, preferably on the turf. A grade 2 in Oakland. I don't know if she's Kate. Well, you know what? Let's give it a shot. The race was there. I'm surprised it's even opened up to us yet. But she is, I think, in terms of a horse better than Patty's Rum. Not that I don't like Patty's Rum. I just think in terms of uh, how she's, um, her stats. Technically, I think she's a little better, but we'll see. But yeah, Patty's rum. I, I gotta get a redemption race with her. That was all my bad. Anywho, next race, we're on to Awful Tap. 15 to 5 here in this grade 2. Not bad. We're not the long shot. In fact, compared to the half of the field, we're literally about midway through because everybody else is super high as well. So for a grade 2 here, if she's able to finish pretty well, this is going to show a lot. That means maybe we can start running her against grade 3 competition regularly and then occasionally slipping in these G2s. Ready? I'm going once all the way around. Good start. Get her up. Get her up. All right, this is good. I know she likes to be a complete leader, but I think we can be comfortable right here. Okay, I'm going to stay right here. We don't want to be blocked inside. But this is good. This is good pacing. I don't think we're going to be gassed. When it comes to making our move, we shouldn't have to worry about too much of that. Uh, this is our race for the taking. This is our race for the taking. Mid-pace, so that means we're not using too much stamina, thank goodness. We're keeping right up here with the leaders, so th this is good. Um, our triangle's not blue, which means she's not exactly where she wants to be, which is literally leading, but th this is okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sure she'll be able to work with this, which she has. If she wouldn't, that triangle would be yellow, so as long as it's still green, you're still in the good. Okay, now the field's going to spread. We're going to get up here just a little bit and roll. Here we go. Let's see what Awful Tap can do. Let's see what she can do. We are closing. We are closing. But other horses are as well. And yeah, I don't know who that is on the outside. Oh my gosh, holy crap. Whoa. Stamina got us, but fifth place in a grade two. Not bad at all. I still don't think she's a grade two horse completely yet. I still think she's between, of course, open and grade three. But for a grade two, six. Whoa. Once that is, well, that's where it was only five. I thought the other horse we were like literally neck and neck with. Okay, neck. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. But not bad. Not bad effort at all. But in terms of every horse I got so far, I don't think anybody is capable of running in grade ones and grade twos on a regular basis. Now, the only one is Crazy Friend. And I'm going to have to try running him in a grade one on the on the turf. Um, but she should be good to go. Okay, no, he's not. Free Inch is ready to go again. And he's a little bit higher ranked of a horse. I'm not sure if he's, uh, I don't think he's grade two, but grade three, possible. He'll hit his spurt pretty fast here. Five to eight on the turf, so let's get him a good one. Here's a grade three, a good test for him. Um, I Honestly, let's look at these horses, in case you guys forget. I think Crazy Friend is this. This is the only horse I think that's capable of running in a grade one, as long as it's on the turf. If it's not on turf and not between the distance of eight and 11 furlongs, I don't think he can do it. Not yet, at least. Patty's Rum, I don't think she's a grade. I think she's pretty much grade three at maybe. Maybe grade three if it's the perfect race and perfect condition. Still keep her open. Awful Tap, I think, is pretty much the same deal as Patty's Rum. Pretty much maybe a little better. Could run her in a little bit more grade threes. And Free Answer, uh, we just took. We just put him in a race for this week or the week after. Um our newest colt we just got. I think he's capable of being a grade three horse on a regular basis, but we're about to test it out and see. Right now, free answer. Odds aren't looking great, but compared to the field, that's not awful. But yeah, if we're supposed to finish ninth. So if we finish better than ninth, we're good. But this is a grade three. We'll see how he does. <sighs> I have to sneeze. 
that literally took like 29,000 years at least. Here we go. Not the best start, but I think we'll be okay. Um, we're okay. We'll stay right here. I think this is good field position. I don't want to tuck into the rail if it's too many horses. Now, if it's a really small field, sure, I'll tuck in because you'll be able to make a move. But if it's a lot of horses, if it's 10 or more, I usually don't feel comfortable being tucked inside the rail unless we're like literally like leading or at least in third. But if we're kind of mid-pack and tucked in, nah, that scene us gambling a little too much, especially with the AI. You guys know the AI in, this, in these games. They just love to block you as soon as you're about to make your move. Oh, man, almost got us there. We just got around that. Let's see what free answer does. We got some, got a little bit of an opportunity. The eight horses flying right past us. So we're going to pass the horses that were tired, and all the other horses with us are going to go. So we came, uh, I think, seventh. Seventh or eighth. I think seventh. Yeah, we came seventh. So we we're supposed to come ninth. That's better. But still, I think considering the competition, not a grade three horse yet. So. If anything, maybe. Crazy friend, I think, can run in a grade run, grade one, or anything else. Everybody else, I think, should still probably stick to open and occasionally try out a grade three, depending on the distance and all that stuff. But I don't even I don't even know if I would consider Crazy Friend a, a consistent grade one. I think I can put him in grade one races, like I said, on the turf, in between that distance of eight and eleven. But running him in grade ones on a regular basis, probably not. You see, we got grade twos and a grade three here this week. Um, the grade three is right here, four years old, 114 pounds, nine furlongs, 4,300 is the first place purse, or the first place prize. And then we got this uh, this grade two, eight furlongs. I think he could do it on the turf. Let's go ahead and give him a shot. Patty's rum. She's 6 to 10. Uh, we can put her in this grade 3. So that kind of works out perfectly. I think that's where they both belong anyways in terms of where they can run. So Let's go to race day. Um, I don't know how many more races I'm going to do. I don't even know how long I've been recording. It's probably been a minute. So we'll probably wrap this up here shortly. Patty's Rum here in this grade three. Your odds are not bad. So, like I said, I think running these horses in the right conditions and a grade three, they'll be okay. Will they be the favorite? Not yet. Not for a while. Open condition races, yeah. They'll definitely have a chance of being the favorite. Grade threes, most likely not. Not yet, because they're not, I mean, I think they're open condition horses. That can occasionally run grade three if you do well with them, you know. But when I bought them, and purchase them they were legitimately open condition horses they weren't grade threes i know that for sure so looking good here i just love the look of this game man for this to be in for this to have been made on playstation back in 99 slash 2000 aesthetically as far as the colors the saturation this is still a a, a beautiful looking game man for horse racing don't get me wrong i love gallop racer 2004 that's literally my favorite as well as 2003 but um, I, I can't really mess with like the saturation. I just like a lot of really just nice colors, man. I really do. I like saturated stuff, man. And this game, I think, hit the nail on the coffin or the dot or whatever the heck you want to say. With the colors and the saturation, so they're rolling right now. I think we can make our move here. Two and a half furlongs. We're going to have inside rail leverage. So let's see what Patty's Rum does. She's got a really crazy spurt going here. Patty's rum is flying. We got one horse to beat. Is she going to get it? Is she going to get it? Come on, Patty. Got it. We just got it. I believe we got it just by ahead. Man, what a win. What a win. We just got it. Just got it by a nose. Let's go, Patty. Grade three victory for her. I think that was her first grade three. That's an awesome step up. Man, what a good race, though. We stuck inside. We were able to make our move, saved ourselves some ground. Good win for Patty's Rum here today. Good win on the turf in New Orleans. Awesome. All right. Now we're going to move on to Crazy Friend for the Grade 2 here in Toronto. And Crazy Friend is not looking hot with the odds. So maybe he even still isn't even a, a Grade 2 horse like I thought. The distance is right within his range. We'll run with it. So, if that's the case, 
everybody is definitely capable of running in a grade three if it's the right race and condition. Let's just leave it at that. And here we go. Solid start. A couple horses got left behind. And uh, Crazy Friend should be comfortable right here if the horses want to pass. That's cool. Okay. And yeah, you see the blue triangle means this is exactly where he wants to be. So if this is where he wants to be. That's fine. I'm just trying to think of what I'm going to do in the stretch. There's three horses tucked to the inside rail. And I don't think all of them are going to move out for us. So we are going to either have to stay here or go around and make a really late outside run I'm not sure but we'll figure it out here very soon get up get up and oh you know what we can actually we can actually tuck inside yep we can actually tuck inside as long as we get past this horse but we're struggling okay we got to move because we are struggling we're struggling to move past that horse and this is a grade two anyway, so maybe we just, yeah, definitely a grade two. I don't think we ran out of stamina too much compared to other races, so not bad, but still not a grade two horse yet either for Crazy Friend. Everybody, conditional grade three, so let's just leave them at that. Ninth place, which is, I think, where we were supposed to come anyways. Let's see if we can get two more races in with our uh, other Colton Philly awful tap and free answer. And that'll be it for this episode. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying, as always. Fatty's run, man. That was a great uh, win for her. Let's see here. We're, lead We're six jockey ranking. I'll check that before the video's over. Free answer. Still not in good condition. Awful tap is ready to go, though. So, 9 to 12 furlongs in the turf for her. And these gray twos keep popping up. But I just don't think it's races we need to run in yet. Let's just... Let's run in this open condition race at Hurricane. It's on the turf. I don't see it being bad for us. Tried enough grade twos. We haven't placed. No sense to continue wasting time with that. If you dig what I'm putting down. An awful tap. 14 to 9. Yeah. Probably only because we're a little outside of the distance. But it's all good. We could still have a solid finishing. Even though we're expected to come, I think, 8th or 9th. I think there's this is a field of 11. Let's see. Yeah, it's field of 11, and we're expected to come ninth. So, oh well. Good start. Good start. Get up there. Get up there. All right, this is good. It just kind of scares me, though, when we get a good start, and even still, we're exerting a decent amount of stamina and those horses are still running faster than us like that's crazy but that's why they tire out in the stretch now, i'm all about catching tired and fatigued horses man i will conserve my stamina i will always do that that's the way i ran track as a sprinter man run that 400 meter sure some people like the freaking olympians can run full speed but most competition people are going to tire themselves out in that stretch you just wait you just bide your time wait till they tire themselves out and then you hit it Okay, let's see what Awful Tap can do. Not bad. Not bad. We got a little bit of a spurt going here. Man, that 10 horse. Holy crap. The 10 of the 7 just absolutely shot through the gap. But that's a third place. We were supposed to finish like ninth. We finished third. That's a decent showing, man. Literally. <laughs> Get it? Third place show. Decent showing. Okay, whatever. Yeah, not bad at all. Third place. I'll take that. Instead of becoming ninth, man. Good deal. Good deal for Awful Tap. I want to get on one more race with free answer, and then we will conclude today's episode of Gallup Racer 2000 and nothing. Because that's all it is. <laughs> okay, let's uh, see. Free answer ready to go? Okay, he's good, ready to go, finally. Patty's Rum actually has two races. I always thought Crazy Friend was going to be our best horse. And technically speaking, she's doing better now. Patty's Rum. I like her, though. I love her. Five to eight furlongs here on the turf for free answer. We can get him a really short race. We can really burn it up. That's a grade three at seven furlongs. I think he can run that. So that'll be our last race of the video here. Let's go to race day here at... Miami, 
And what are our odds looking? Seven to eight. Good. That is solid, which means we can definitely win this race if we run it correctly. Uh, yeah, this should be a good one. Free answer. There's our boy. Take the little angle looks. He's ready to go. So are we. To the track we go. Announcer caller. Horse Racing Gamer is on. That, that's me, because like nobody else is announcing. Except for this lady who's like, ready? Go! <laughs> Uh, except for her. Nobody's calling the races, so I'm doing it. My goodness, man. I swear, these fields go so fast, but that's why we always end up catching these horses in the stretch. They just end up blitzing out in that first two to three furlongs of the race. It's like, you can do that, but you're going to tire out, and we're going to catch you. Are we going to win? I don't know. It depends on how well of a run we make, but we're going to catch you, no doubt. Horse isn't where he wants to be, but we'll do. We got plenty of stamina to make a move, so I'm not worried at all. I'm just trying to figure out the gap we're going to try to shoot here. Um, we got room right here. Yep. Didn't mean to block that horse, but we ended up coming a strong fifth. Strong fifth, not bad. I don't know why he was in the yellow on the stretch. I have no idea what happened. That's a little unusual. That doesn't happen unless I bump a horse. And I definitely did not bump a horse. At least I didn't think so. I have I have the shock on my controller. Vibration. So if I bumped a horse, I would have felt it. I did not feel any shock or vibration. So I don't know what happened. But fifth place, we placed. Not bad at all. We'll take it. We will take it. And before we conclude this video, we're going to go ahead and look at the jockey ratings to see where we match up. We've placed quite a bit this year, so... We are still 7th place, which is good. I believe it's data and official data. And we'll go to leading. Look at the jockeys. We are 7th place currently. We've got 12 races under our belt this year with 2 wins and 1 place. Wayne is at the top with 27 races total, 9 wins, 1 place. Carol sitting there in 2nd, 26 races, 1, 5 wins one place and everybody else was kind of in between so we're not doing too bad as far as that's concerned course record i mean who cares about that just all the craziest horses and gallop racer in the grade one category setting records like every single week personal data um jockey data just going to see what we've done as a whole for our career we have ran in 36 races we have won four times we've come in second three times we have came in third three times so not terrible but we're working and the difficulty is on hard so never played on hard in this game before but uh it's fun it's enjoyable that's always the deal wait do we win a g1 what did we win a g1 okay no we just we've ran in one i was about to say we never ran we never won a g1 on this on this file yet um i think that's it as far as horse data uh, i don't know what it's going to tell us Oh, okay. This is where you retire your horses. This is to see if they've won any titles, the results for their races. And uh, let's see here. This is uh, a little bit more in-depth than even in Galbraith 2004. So, a crazy friend has only won one race. And I'm trying to think. The first race we ran with him is the first wet race he won? Wow. Our first race we ran with him in an open. Uh, or wait, is that this year or last year? Hold on, I'm trying to see. Yeah, that's of uh, last year. So our first race we won was with Crazy Friend in the open condition. 10 for a mile. They did not realize that. Everything else, not bad. But we've kind of been a little stagnant. We can retire him at any time if we want to. And depending, I may go ahead and do so if he doesn't really. Uh... In fact, can you retire all these horses whenever you want? I don't want to accidentally click it and accidentally retire a horse. Let's look at Patty's rum right quick. We know we just got her her first, uh, her second win in that grade three. And then the other race she won was an open condition. Six furlongs and she won a nine furlongs. So let's go ahead and take a look at Awful Tap here. Awful Tap won a race. That was uh, eight furlongs. That was like, like seriously, one of the best races I've ever won. And Gallup Racer 2000, the free answer has not won anything yet. We've already ran them in three races, second, seventh, and fifth. So, not bad. As far as horses to retire, crazy friend? I still think it's too soon to retire him. I would kind of like to get my own horse on the way here. 
Um, Patty's rum is still showing some promise. If I were to retire horses, I would probably retire Crazy Friend and Awful Tap. Um, but I still like her as well, and Patty's rum is running good. I almost need another horse. Because both of these fillies I'm really enjoying right now, and I don't think they're going to start doing anything bad. Free answer we still got. So if anything, I just need to buy another filly. Because I don't know if Crazy Friend is going to do anything. Free answer we just got. His spurt. Uh, um, I don't know. Can we retire Crazy Friend? You can, yeah, you, you can retire Crazy Friend. Looking at the horse's ratings, I mean, he's already hit his spurt. He's on the decline. I don't know which of these fillies to retire. So here's what actually we're going to do. We are going to retire Crazy Friend right now. Um, I don't want to overwork the horse necessarily. I mean, we're already on the decline. He's been doing all right. But you want us our first race. Do you want to breed this horse? Yes. Okay, let's not do that yet. Oh no, did we retire him without breeding him with the horse? I think that's what we just did. I think that's literally what we just did. I thought you could just kind of go back into that option and they would still be somewhere to breed, but apparently if you retire them and don't click breed, that's it. That defeats the whole purpose of what I was going to do. Create a horse. Or is he still here? Maybe he's still here. Okay, he's still here. Thank goodness. I was going to say, really? Like, they just get rid of your horse? So we can breed him. Uh, we can breed him with a filly that we can probably buy. Because, like I said, Awful Tap and Patty's Rum, I do not want to retire yet. So, which, I mean, we can't retire him with any of these girls yet, can we? Dusty City. Violent Link. I kind of like the way these uh, horse stats are looking. Let's take a look at Farm Onyx. Let's take a look at Dusty City. 9 to 11. That's, her stats are pretty similar to um, pretty similar to Crazy Friend. We may go ahead and get her. Um, this is Farm Onyx. She's pretty much got the same thing. Much better in terms of her stats, though. 8 to 11 furlongs. If anything, we might get her. Let's go ahead and get her. Firm Onyx. I don't know if I can retire her that soon. I literally just bought her. I'm just testing it out. <laughs> Firm Onyx. Can we retire her? We can. Wow, you can retire horses as soon as you buy them. Okay, so we should have two horses. We should have... Sire and Broodmare. Yes, Crazy Friend and Firm Onyx. We can breed both of these. Our first here. Of course, it's super easy to do here in Gallup Racer 2000 and, tw and um, comparable to Gallup Racer 2004. It requires much longer timing. We might get a decent foal here. You look at the stats here. Um, more than likely, the horse is definitely going to be great on the turf for sure. It's going to have speed. Um, temperament, I think, is going to be really good, which means the horse is going to be good at listening to us. Pretty good for the gate. So there's Crazy Friend. I'm looking at Firm Onyx here. Temperament also well. Decent speed, 57 for her, and then stamina is whatever, but she's solid on the turf, pacing. Definitely probably going to be a trailer, like father and mother. So here we go. These two horses will be combined. Crazy Friend and Firm Onyx, guys. This is our first breeding, our first horse we're breeding here on the channel, I should say. And, uh, yeah. So we'll see how this turns out for us. And uh, get our first foal. Let's see. Twins! <laughs> All right. Our foal. A two year old filly. Same distance, of course, is a trailer. She will hit her spurt around the same time. And she's even on turf and dirt, so we'll be able to play around with her a little bit. Um, gate speed as well as temperament are both four stars already, um, which is good, I believe. Or guts. That's guts, excuse me. Gate speed or gate breaking technically is BRK. So guts and temperament is good. Um, yeah. Choose a name for her. Let's call her Silly Goose. That's usually always what I refer to my my girlfriend's as when I have one. 
been a while though. We've been solo dolo here, man. But silly goose. That will be the name of our two-year-old filly here. And we can get a mask on her. Let's see. Yes. I love putting the masks on horses. Let's see. We got the green and yellow silk, so we can either get her the yellow mask or the green. Uh let's go ahead and get her the yellow. Let's do something a little different. Ear color. Ooh, actually, let's do the green and the yellow. How's that look? Eh, I've seen that too many times. Let's do yellow mask, green ears, and we get her the stripes. Let's get her the green stripes or the black, and let's do the green. Trademark? Uh, nah, don't need a trademark. What's a trademark? What is that, a, an anchor? <laughs> no thanks. Oh, we do have to choose a trademark or not. I'll just leave it probably green. Um, yeah, I'll leave it green. Use blinker, yes. And we can get her the blinkers, which we're gonna do the white. Oh, the blinker was already added. Shadow roll, and I don't think she needs a shadow roll. Silly Goose, two-year-old filly. I like the way she looks. This horse will be now registered for you. Awesome. So there's our first breeding. I'm excited to get her in a race. This has been a long episode. I'm about to say screw it and let's just get one race with her to see how she does. But I don't even know if she can race at two years old yet in this game. Silly Goose. Yeah, buddy. Look at her. That is our two-year-old filly. Can we enter in a race yet? We can. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. I don't, I don't even know if they have any two-year-old races in here. Oh, they do. Wow. I didn't. I was starting to think they really did not actually have two-year-old races in this game yet. Most they don't, which is good. Most of the time, it should. I mean, you should be at three years old. We can enter her in our first race a couple, a couple months ahead of time. But that's what we got to do. Lavender, six furlongs is a little underneath her distance, but. I think it'll be a good test for her. Cannot wait to race her. So, guys, that's going to do it here for this episode. Hopefully, you all enjoyed. Remember, smash the like button. Of course, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, we'll be back. Some more Gallup Racer 2000 action. That's going to do it. Of course, Racing Gamer. Sound to the next time. We all have a great and fantastic day. See ya. Goodbye.